Okay, let's see if we can get this done. I'm going to show you how this uh, works real quick. This is a cartridge that goes in here. And that's supposed to be in there for the system to actuate. Your system actually did actuate, but the cartridge wasn't in. So that saved you from dumping your system right there. And I would suggest when you're traveling, open this up and take this cartridge out so that you don't risk hitting a bump and setting your system off. So I'll set that to the side right there. This is how it's supposed to look armed. This little wire right here goes to your manual pull station. This one here goes to your automatic detection, which has temperature links in your kitchen hood. And this is for your gas valve over here. This just pulls tension to keep that gas valve open. Right now, the gas valve is open, and the reason that it didn't work is there wasn't any tension. I'm going to manually set this off to show you what happens when it goes off. Notice right here, it's got a little clip holding a little pin that swivels here that holds this open and this open. When this moves, I'm going to push it up like we're doing the pull station. It's going to set the system off, but I don't have the cartridge in, so it's not going to release what's in the tank. You see there, your, your wire came loose, and then this came loose too as well, um, or it loosened up. Sometimes it'll go off and it just loosens up a little bit on that, and that was the case with yours earlier today. So this is the key to resetting the system so you know if you ever get in this situation when you're driving and you got to recock this system when you're uh, when you get somewhere you just what you'll do is you can hold up on this you want to twist this cable and it's easier when you hold that up to do it you don't have to it'll click as it goes there's quite a bit of cable so once it gets tight it'll be like a uh, it'll be like a piano string and you can see right here where it's resting up here and I want to keep it right there for now because I'm going to have to move this little pin to catch here and also catch under there and so it's a it's kind of one of these things where you got to hold this up and I don't know if you can see it you got to spring it around so this little uh, this little part will catch on this right here you got to hold that up you got to push this over just a tad I put something in here to wedge, and once you get it in there, you want to wedge it all the way over as far as you can so that this is resting up here. Well, then you got to have another hand to start tightening the tension on the system. And I tighten it around a couple of times. Once I start seeing it move, and I see that it's going under this lip right here, uh, it's starting to go under there. I'm going to give it just... You don't want to tighten it too tight, but you don't want to tighten it too little either. So you see where you got a space in here? And I'm going to probably pull one more little click there. Now your system is set. Um, gas is still loose. What you have to do is sit here and turn this, and it'll crank around a pin. And it's still cranking. And it's, now it's just, uh, just hand tight, but I'm going to have to tighten it more, and you'll see it move a couple more inches. Actually, probably a little bit more, and that's what's opening up the gas valve right now. So, you should be good and set on your gas valve. Uh, for some odd reason, if you're not able to set this, if you pull this out and maybe clamp some, like... Uh, Clamp something on it and it'll hold it open. You can use some uh, channel locks or, or you know some vice grips is what you would you could do to do that, but that'll hold that open. But that's how the system looks set. From there, if I was to arm it, I would put this cartridge in here. There's a little pin that shuts off when it hits that. But right now I'm gonna leave the cartridge out so that uh, there's no risk of it going off. These wires here for are for any kind of electrical shutdowns. They typically don't use these when it comes to a food truck, so it could go to alarms. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put those in here to the side, but the cartridge goes right in there, and that's something that you'll want to put in when you start cooking. I would suggest taking it out every time you drive the trailer, and make sure that everything is cocked just like this on your system.
it's kind of a crazy deal. You'd have to watch it again. And you just gotta watch for the position of that right there. Right now, your system is set and ready to go, except for the fact the cartridge is out of it. And I'm gonna leave that out until you're ready to put it in.